Ian, you brought us to Driven Engineering down in Haven. Now, um, this is quite a typical company that you're getting involved with, with automation. Could you tell me a little bit about the journey and why they took the compact 80 system from Aroa? Um, Ray from Driven um, knows one of our customers in the Portsmouth area who's got a number of compact 80s on uh, Hermley's and other manufacturers' machines uh, in their uh, facility and it caught his eye. Um, at the time, uh, Ray's facility was very uh, small. Uh, he's recently moved to this new facility which has given him more space but he was very tight for space so we looked at the compact 80 two meter square uh, cubed uh, footprint but it gave him the flexibility to enter into automation. Um, we went the 320 by 320 uh, pallet route uh, which gave him the flexibility of putting one vice or two vices on uh, which meant that he could do two different types of jobs on the same pallet which then extended his run time and cycle times on that pallet which then because of the, the, the uh, gave him the flexibility for his workload which is in motorsport and general engineering that he could run the machines lights out at, at, in the evenings or at the weekends. This is uh, Driven Engineering's first footstep into automation Ian and when I look at uh, the type of components that he's machining here they're very complex why would you invest in automation? Well it gives him the flexibility his work uh, uh, footprint is mainly one-offs, uh, motorsport, then he's got small batch work. That's the beauty of the rower. The rower is able to cope with one-offs or complex work or batch work of 5, 10, 50, 100 if you need, need it to do. But it's very, um, in the marketplace at the present moment, there's a lot of uh, smaller subcontractors and general engineering companies making their first step into automation. Um, this package of a small compact 80 robot, you can have 60 pallets of say 148 pallets in there or 320 by 320. It delivers a lot of flexibility and it future proofs your investment. Uh, for instance, you know, they are very, very reliable. We've got robots eight in the marketplace which are 30 odd years old. Um, as your business evolves, you may move from one machine tool manufacturer to another, but you say the investment you've already made in the automation can be moved then on to another machine if required. Now, you, you said to me earlier on that uh, a lot of your business over the last 18 months is coming from smaller, let's say, job shops or subcontracting companies. Why is that? I think people are starting to realise that the, the We've got to change with the times. Uh, unfortunately, you know, there's a shortage of skilled w uh, engineers in the marketplace currently. Um, there's been, the, unfortunately, the pandemic, which we've lost more people under the circumstances. Um, and it really is the start of people looking at automating jobs and what they're doing within their business to grow their business and use up the, the extra hours that you can use of an evening or shifts two shifts a day or the weekend of 65 hours. Now there's a lot of machine tool manufacturers out there as you know Ian. Can these systems be uh, run on any machine tool? Yes, so uh, for instance on this uh, Compact 80 we're front loading. We've got an air dock system which pushes it away from the front of the machine so you get access. We can side load um, so it gives ac uh, operator access to machines that way. Um, we can connect to all the major manufacturers' controls, i.e. Siemens, Fanuc, Hyde and Hein, etc. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it is a total flexible solution that we're able to offer on automation. And many engineers are, are not only chasing tolerances uh, sub-micron, but also uh, cost per part. Does, does this system give you that? Oh, most definitely. I mean, uh, you know, when you're running a, a piece of automation in a machine tool for 65 hours over the weekend with nobody there, uh, and you ring them up on the, on the following Monday morning, how did your robot run for the first time? And they're just saying it's fantastic, I was having my Sunday lunch and there it was earning me money. And those engineers that are watching this video today, Ian, what would be your message to them in reference to automation, but also how they can embrace REM systems to look at the best solution for them? Well, I think, you know, we can work with 
as we said, any machine tool. So if you've got a machine tool that you've bought over the last two to three years, we can retrofit. We can look at adding automation to new machines uh, that may be in the process of being purchased or recently purchased. Um, even if machines have been ordered and delivered in the last two to three years and you haven't got some of the services, um, we can do that, we can adapt the, the robot to have air to the end of the robot arm to open and close chucks um, so we can work and come up with a package that suits your business.